Greetings and salutations, fine people of YouTube. As promised, this is the second update in the sub-series that I told you that I would film, showing the dormancy differences between Tifway 419 and Princess 77 slash Arden 15. So we're in mid-October. Again, this is the second update. If you guys have not seen the first one, be sure to check that out where I'm gonna show you guys what you can expect as far as the dormancy differences, like how which, which grass is gonna go dormant sooner. So what we're seeing here is that overall the lawn is still fairly green, but that the, the pop that was there a month or so ago is definitely going away. I mean, from last week to this week, there's probably a slight difference. Like if you guys are looking here, there's probably a slight difference in that it's a little bit less green than, uh, than last week. But I'll, I'll definitely show you guys that. I mean, I'll, I'll put some, uh, some footage up here to show you guys um, you know, what the differences I'm seeing from week to week to kind of help you from not having to go back and look at the videos. You can just kind of look either here or here where I can find some room on the screen for it. The back lawn, those where you see most of the difference. If you look towards the back where that tree used to be, towards this area right in here, is where there's a lot of, or in my mind, a noticeable difference in color. Let me guys take you to get here a little bit further. You can see the circle. See the circle right there, guys? Like that circle right here that I'm looking at, that's where the tree used to be, like right in there. And again, that was not over, was not um, resodded with a Tifway 419 that exactly matched my lawn. So that's where some of the color differences are. But this entire section, the entire lawn has been overseeded with Arden 15. In addition to that spot where the tree was, if we look like right around through here, show you guys that, like right around through this spot, like right in here, you can see also a, a difference in color. Like the green is just, just ever so slightly darker in that spot than the rest of the lawn. Give you guys another angle to keep us around this way so you can see the see the lawn um, from you know the lighting from from another direction i mean overall it, you know this is about what i expected i mean from the tipway 419 the Arden 15 that was definitely holding on better like if you guys look at some of my videos from last season the lawn would uh, would already be almost yellow at this point so if we look at again like my neighbor's lawn compared to this even though i'm still not super green i'm definitely greener than most so you guys can see the stripe action still there, still in effect, but overall just not as crispy, not as 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 emerald green as it was just a month ago. Like as far as soil and air temps, right now we are at in the mid 70s, so 74, 75, 74, 75 degrees. Thereabouts uh, is what I saw this morning before I came out here to go film this. But let's check the soil temps because soil temps don't really tell the, the real story, right? And because there's really no graceful way for me to stick that in the ground while also holding this uh, this heavy rig, did it ahead of time. So let's power up the uh, soil test and see what we have here. All right. So I said mid 70s for air temps, and if you look here, soil temps are around 68 degrees. Autofocus, do not fail me now. So you guys can see there about what we're dealing with. So mid 70s for air temp and then soil temps around 68. So really we're at the point where, like, even if you were, you know, we're almost like mimicking the springtime when I overseeded with Arden 15, just, you know, four or five months ago or however long that was. So, so yeah, guys, I'm gonna continue uh, documenting this. Really the, the goal is to um, serve two audiences. One, if you are considering overseeding your lawn with Arden 15, so you have a Bermuda lawn, you're considering putting Arden 15 down, what kind of color differences you can expect in the first season and then also for those of you that are considering like doing a full renovation you're going to kill off your all your current grass and put down Arden 15 like what advantages that you can actually see as far as uh, retaining color longer than even Tifway 419 which is actually a Bermuda that actually does fairly well in cool weather but Arden 15 Sash Prince 77 is just that much better so it's designed to serve both of you guys so hopefully you guys are finding this useful if you are please give me a like comment consider subscribing if you're not yet a subscriber and uh, definitely let me know how you guys, um, anything else you guys would like to see over the fall. Also, if you're not like um, following the live stream, I do a live stream on Friday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern. So if you have any other lawn care questions, be sure to check that out, because that's something I'm gonna be doing. I started this fall here in fall 2020, and I can try and continue it as much as I can. So if you want your questions answered more directly and quickly uh, in a fun format, definitely check that out as well too. Well guys, I really appreciate you guys taking a few minutes of your day to uh, see the lawn updates. Hopefully you guys are finding this useful because I'm not seeing anyone actually document the transitions between uh, in dormancy or comparison between like uh, Tifway 419, which is pretty common in this part of Georgia, 
and some of the more um, exotic Bermudas like your R15s and Princess 77. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day.